Europe's single market celebrates its 30th anniversary in 2023. Single market means marketplace. The marketplace is where you trade, where you discover, where you buy. The European Union's single market celebrates its 30th birthday in 2023, an economic milestone. It changed lives for businesses and people across the continent and is continuing to do so today. Welcome to a new season of Business Planet. One of the world's largest economies, the EU single market was founded 30 years ago. Goods, services and money can move easily around it. And so can we. You can go abroad, live, study or retire there. We can buy things online without geographical restrictions and return or cancel them, no questions asked. Phone calls are cheaper and so are airfares. There are no customs, tariffs or taxes for businesses buying and selling in the EU. Products of the same safety and environmental standards. The EU has greater clout to negotiate trade agreements with the rest of the world. But the single market isn't static, it evolves as the economy changes. We've just seen some of the benefits of the single market. I'm here with Kerstin Yorna, Director General of the Commission's Single Market Department. What are the issues facing the single market right now? What are some of the challenges? It feels like being in the single market base camp because there is the health crisis, COVID uh, is still around. There is the energy crisis following the, uh, the Russian aggression. And this is really where we are focusing on. And we're focusing on by leveraging the single market. Health, we need vaccines. We had none when they started. And by working together, by buying the vaccines together, not only, but also building a full industrial supply chain for vaccines, I'm confident we will have enough vaccines for our citizens and citizens around the world. The second point is the energy system. And here we have to wean off Russian fossil fuel. And there are two ways the single market can help. Number one is that we can work together to procure the energy that we need. And the second is that we accelerate together the role of renewable energy. So what's the vision for the future in terms of the green and digital transition? It's core because the, it builds the business case uh, for the green and energy transition. For a business case, you need inputs, you need technology, you need skills, you need a legal framework and you need a market for these new products. And this is what the single market and our tools uh, in the single market toolbox actually achieve. Because we finance innovation and research, we have skills partnerships for the new skills, we have the market regulation fit for 55 package and we allow also for the market uptake and that is a business case for investors to come in because we do need investment to roll this out. Here in the Netherlands, we've come to Rotterdam to visit a mobile energy startup. Scone Energy rents out clean energy systems across Europe to construction sites, ports and more, cutting the need for diesel generators. The single markets meant Scone's been able to work cross-border. Wherever you are in Europe, you want to learn from a deployment that has been done in another country before. So within clean energy, there's so much data being generated. And if you don't learn from it, you lose a lot of value. So we're very happy that we are starting this in Europe, uh, that we are in the Netherlands and we can easily expand to the rest of Europe because that's when our product really thrives. Scone provides batteries to power TV and film sets. We have film production companies filming all across Europe. And it doesn't matter in which European country they are, they can use the solutions that we have locally or that we can ship across European borders without problems. Meanwhile, in the Dutch town of Tiel, Scone has launched another project a hybrid power system for refugee accommodation. The yellow generator charges the battery next to it, which then quietly provides electricity for families living here. And what is one thing you want when you're a refugee arriving to an accommodation is you want to be able to sleep well and to sleep in silence. That's why the municipality of Tiel chose not to work with a diesel generator 24 seven to run this accommodation. The battery is silent, but it has other advantages too. Thirty years after it was founded, the single market continues to help Europe navigate choppy waters, driving forward innovation and trade.